determine the equation of the normal line to y equals x squared minus 3x plus 4 that is also parallel to 4x plus 8y equals 1. Remember, a normal line to a curve is perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. So if we take a look at this graph below, the green line is the line given by 4x plus 8y equals 1. So we're looking for the normal line to the curve that is parallel to this green line. And if this green line is parallel to the normal line, it would also be perpendicular to the tangent line. So for example, if I sketch the tangent line at this red point, notice how it's perpendicular to the tangent line. And if I sketch the normal line, which is a line perpendicular to the tangent line passing through the point of tangency, it's also perpendicular to the tangent line. To find the equation of the line normal to the curve and also parallel to the given line, we will have to find this point of tangency. To do this, we'll have to find the derivative of y equals x squared minus 3x plus 4 and set it equal to the slope of the tangent line, which would be the negative reciprocal of the slope of the line given by 4x plus 8y equals 1, again because the two lines are perpendicular. So let's first determine the slope of the given line by solving 4x plus 8y equals 1 for y. First step, subtract 4x on both sides, which gives us 8y equals negative 4x plus 1, and then divide both sides by 8. Simplifying, we have y equals negative 1 half x plus 1 eighth. Notice the slope of the green line, or the given line, is negative 1 half. Negative 1 half is also going to be the slope of the normal line to the curve that's also parallel to the given line. So m equals 1 half is the slope of the normal line. And now it's working on determining the point of tangency. So again, to find the point of tangency, we'll have to set the first derivative equal to the slope of the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line is equal to the negative reciprocal of negative 1 half, which is positive 2 over 1 or positive 2. So m equals 2 is the slope of the tangent line. And because the derivative function values of y equals x squared minus 3x plus 4, give us the slopes of the tangent lines, we will set the derivative of y equals x squared minus 3x plus 4 equal to 2 and then solve for x. This will give us the x-coordinate of the point of tangency, which we need to find the equation of the normal line. So y prime is equal to the derivative of x squared minus 3x plus 4, which is 2x minus 3. And now we'll set this equal to the slope of 2 and solve for x. Next, we add 3 to both sides, which gives us 2x equals 5. Divide both sides by 2. Simplifying, we have x equals 5 halves. So the point of tangency, which is also a point on the normal line we're looking for, has an x-coordinate of 5 halves. The y-coordinate is y of 5 halves, which means we now need to substitute x equals 5 halves back into the original equation or function to determine the y-coordinate. So let's go ahead and do that. y of 5 halves is equal to the square of 5 halves minus 3 times 5 halves plus 4. y of 5 halves is equal to 11 fourths. Now we know the point of tangency is the point 5 halves comma 11 fourths. Now we have all the information we need to find the equation of the normal line to the given curve that's also parallel to the given line. We know the slope of the normal line is negative one half, and we know it passes through the point five halves comma eleven fourths. Let's first find the equation in point slope form where x one is five halves and y one is eleven fourths. We have y minus eleven fourths equals negative one-half times the quantity x minus five-halves. This is the equation of the normal line that we're looking for, but let's also write it in slope-intercept form by solving for y. So the next step will distribute negative one-half, which gives us y minus eleven-fourths equals negative one-half x 
and then plus 5 fourths. Next, we will add 11 fourths to both sides. Simplifying, we have y equals negative 1 half x, and then we have plus 16 fourths, which simplifies to 4. Let's go ahead and verify this graphically. We have the graph of the parabola, the green line is the given line, and we just found the equation of the red line, which is normal to the curve and also parallel to the given line. And again, if we sketch the tangent line at this red point, notice how the normal line is perpendicular to this tangent line, and again, also parallel to the given green line. I hope you found this helpful.